Hey guys, welcome back. It's episode number six. Thanks for tuning on uh, on in. I've got something kind of fun planned for today, and to start things off, I actually want to show you what I did uh, off camera. So I was just kind of just noticing like the symmetry of our collector and express lanes. It was just kind of really getting to me. So what I did is I just redid the entire system here, and just for you know, kind of fun, and to show you guys a few more options, what I did was a few different styles of um, on and off ramps. So basically each one is kind of different just so you guys can yeah just maybe use something for for inspiration so over here is probably the most complicated one um, I guess we'll kind of start with your way off if you're going say this way so this one's pretty simple actually um, what I did just for fun was a whole bunch of terraforming afterwards so that the rocks and trees and everything it just felt like a little bit more real to me so that's kind of cool right anyway so you break off here uh, swing a right this takes you over to here so it's essentially a partial cloverleaf, but because we don't have another um, point in the intersection, I just kind of left it like this. So maybe if you're in like a rural part of your city or kind of like the end of your city in air quotes, or just like a style of intersection like this where you just don't really have anything connected to it, it's a pretty good way to kind of, you know, connect to the highway, so if you, especially if you're kind of tight on space. So that works perfectly for me. Kind of, you know, come on down here, turn right, get onto the highway. There's your way over. Um, otherwise... If you wanted to, you'd be staying on this lane here to hypothetically go off right there. Otherwise, there's another option to exit right here. So, I mean, just, you know, in real life or whatever, if there's like an accident somewhere on here, you could just, you know, bypass that route, you know, something like that, right? Um, I, I don't really think the Sims are probably going to use this too much, but I have it there just so that um, aesthetically we have just kind of the same on and off ramps or um, kind of collector express little collector exchange points or whatever. Um, on both sides, just for symmetry. And then over on the opposite side, before we get too far away, we have um, an on-ramp that connects to the um, roundabout on this side. And this, in my mind, would be for anyone who wants to go up and over the bridge. Because I think I am actually going to put an intersection here. I'm just kind of showing you this for, um, like I said, inspiration, right? But this would be for anyone going up over the bridge, so that's a little bit faster than having to go the whole way through the roundabout. And then people exiting here would be the ones that want to go to, say, like that avenue, or possibly this one here. And then if you wanted to go, like this could possibly become another straight road. But say you wanted to go over here, uh, you would continue on the collector lane and then turn right and kind of like exit over here. So it just spreads everything out. And then just so that the on and off ramps from the collector not on and off, like the, the exchange points from collector to express aren't like overwhelmed with everyone trying to um, turn in front of each other. What I did is I kind of spread the um, the loadout. So you'd be going onto the collector back here if you were to access the, um, the roundabout on this side. And then you would enter the collector here or possibly down there if you wanted to go to that side, just to keep things kind of mixed up. The whole goal I think for this is just to spread um, a load of traffic around. And my goal also, too, is just to make things kind of, like, look a little bit more real and fun and just, I don't know, I think this just has a nice look to it, right? I'm not sure what I'm trying to go for in terms of, like, the word, but there's something just kind of, I don't know, almost romantic just staring at this. Okay, so let's um, move into some construction. What I was looking to do with this episode was um, kind of maybe segue into uh, some high-density zoning. Because if you look at our skyline, we're not too tall right now. And I have a lot of questions like constantly in like all my videos, like how do you, you know, how do you know when to change to high density? Where does the high density go? So, I mean, for the most part, we're pretty, pretty good for traffic. Everything's kind of set up. Like I love this interchange so much. This collector express system will definitely serve us really well for, you know, for traffic as the city grows. So what I want to do um, for this episode is uh, create a little high density neighborhood kind of in and around here. We can convert some of our older existing neighborhoods up to um, high density. And I just want to have a new way of coming in uh, into work right here. Because my thoughts are, it's like if you do work, uh, sorry, if you do live, like right here, uh, you kind of have to backtrack a little bit to one of the highways just to kind of get over to here. So we can extend this six lane road, hop over the highway, maybe have the six lane road just kind of curve through here. And then it can either go as a bridge or go underneath here. And I had talked about wanting to create uh, that like lakeshore parkway kind of thing. I don't know if I'm going to use highway. I don't think so. I think what we might possibly do is have a six lane boulevard, like, you know, from here to here. And then that converts into a highway and we can make like a trumpet interchange 
like right here in the border of the city. Actually, that sounds really cool. Let's uh, let's go for that. So it's a very ambitious episode, but I think we can get to a lot of this done. Okay, so let's use bike lanes. So why not, right? And just in general, I mean, high density, obviously much more traffic. So we gotta just be be ready for that. And we're not gonna convert over our entire like older districts to uh, to high density. We're gonna maybe do little bits and pieces at a time. And you'll kind of see my my game plan for that. All right, so probably not going to have an on and off point for the highway right here. This will just be for uh, in-town driving. And then we'll go like this. And I think I'm going to get rid of that bike lane because it's kind of redundant. But I do like the shape of uh, that curve. And then I like to go underground. And probably just end up over there. And I don't mind that that's not a perfect curve because we're underground, right? Um, and then just to line things up with the city, in air quotes, I'm going to have our um, our tunnel exit from about here. I mean, not the end of the world if this doesn't line up. Let me just make that a little bit of a better attempt, though. And when we go underground like this, we do lose the bike lanes. I'm not sure if I've set up before. Sometimes, I, I know I do repeat myself sometimes, but it's for the greater good, I believe. Okay, so six lane, just to kind of bypass everything. That keeps um, you know highway traffic a little bit separate from in-town traffic. We should bring a bike lane up and over here in kind of a bridge style, or we could convert this over to a bike lane, which I think probably makes more sense. Let's come above ground, make that easier to see. I think we could realistically just go, there we go, bike lane the whole way through here now. Yeah, that makes sense to me. And then we should probably make this a six lane bike with bike lanes as well. Give people the option if they so desire. Okay, great. One big circle, I like that. Um, all right, now I did want to bring, like I was saying, the parkway up through here, or the boulevard. So why don't we wrap around the water's edge? Kind of at Lakeshore Boulevard, as it were. And I don't know if we're going to terraform. I mean, you can see there's a few dips here. I think some of these might maybe like prime opportunity to do like a slight little bridge just for some nice aesthetics a little bit taller in the middle but well, i've already had a few of you uh suggest some uh some fun intersections and like highway interchanges to make so if you have any that you want me to try guys i'm totally happy to try them out because i know that most of them you know, you may think you need mods, but uh, you might be surprised. Oh yeah, that's much nicer, right? Okay, then same thing over here. Like, I don't know what's going on with that, but... There we go. Okay, now the idea was to maybe have that convert or have like a little um, kind of trumpet interchange here. So why don't we have a small little expressway kind of come in. And you know, that's probably not enough room. Let me just give us a little bit more room to work with. Yeah, that's probably good for me. Actually, you know what we could do for bonus points here? Is we could try and make a sunken um, sunken highway. Hmm. Now we're cooking. And what we could do for the on and offs is we could make them uh, partial tunnels.
So we'll terraform um, afterwards as well, just to kind of make things look a little bit more blended. And what we could do is continue with the um, kind of feel like this, and then get the, um, oops, get some more soil here. But yeah, continue with a little bridge with the uh, six lane road here and use that to kind of creatively uh, connect. And I know that with a lot of the stuff that I do, there's definitely easier ways to do it, but sometimes I'm just in the mood to be creative and fun. And above all else, I really do want to give you guys some inspiration and just, you know, try some stuff out, see what we can kind of discover. Alright, I'm happy with that. Looks pretty cool too. Alright. So I'm going to try and use the pillars as um, kind of like a reference point for like how far our spacing needs to be. So I guess we need to be a little bit further apart than I thought. That's pretty straight. Well, like straight enough at least. Okay, now for here, what I would like is an elevated um, kind of section to come out and then connect to say like over there. Okay, let's try, there we go. Do that. I think I may have clicked prematurely there. Okay, so just something like this, and that can split into two lanes when it gets closer. That's cool. And just get our directions going. All right, awesome. And then as far as a way on, actually, no, we probably are going to do is um, just hmm, because I don't think we're going to extend further with this. So why don't we come up? like that as well and go to both sides of the street because in real life you would just restrict um, uh, what direction you can turn like you'd have like a um, you know like only right hand turns here only right hand turns there type thing just for a better faster flow of traffic so we could hypothetically do this hmm I didn't really think this one uh, was far through did I Or the other option would be to um, connect this one a little bit further down. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Mm, I think we're not really doing the right height here. We are not. And if we spread this one out far enough, um, other people probably will use it. I actually have an idea that we can try um, just to kind of ensure that people do end up using this. So what we can do is uh, two-way traffic until we get close to the split like this. And then have a way on, yeah, just like that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so let's make that a little bit longer so it's not as steep. There we go. We'll 
cut off just a little bit on each side. And we'll just connect those up. And that should look really, really awesome. Perfect. Here I'm wanting to segue into high density, and we're building a sunken highway. Uh, we will still talk about that, hopefully, as like, you know we get closer to the end of the episode. I just want to get this kind of out of the way quickly. All right, so we'll do like a partial clover leaf kind of style as well for this one. A little bit further down. Nope, not quite. Sometimes I'm just gonna get a little bit lucky. There we go. We got a pretty tight um, like intersection like that. Oh, nice! Look at that. Uh, a little bit silly, so let's not do that. I don't necessarily want to terraform this, but we should be able to do it. Yep, definitely we're okay. Oh, that's such a nice curve. Turned out beautifully. And if you're not really happy with those little kind of blue showing things, call them like the hole in the earth. It just means we're stretching the train a little bit too much. You can always hide some, uh, hide that with some trees, right? There, see, no one's the wiser. Well, kind of. You know what I mean. Okay, great. So there's an on-ramp right there. And then there's an on-ramp from that direction. So that kind of works for me right now. Awesome. Let's connect this up here. And, I mean, it's pretty steep, so let's try that again. And I did say I wanted to terraform a little bit more, so we might start to um, do some of that now, but I think we're okay, actually. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Hmm, get in there. Definitely get in there. There, perfect. Alright, well, let's gradually go up. Same kind of point as that one. Oop. Chirpy's getting in our way. There we go. Oh, just barely perfect. So, um, that might uh, end up changing if we buy another tile, or you know what, we'll probably just make that just a little bit cleaner right now. There we go. Not the, ah darn it, you know what, not the smoothest of angles. That's much better. And so just for fun, because of the terrain, we'll go in with a tunnel, and just, you know, mix things up. Alright, neat. So there's your way in like that. And then for you to go the other way, um, see if we can get our tunnels to kind of work without getting in each other's way. It's possible. I'll we'll probably just go underneath that one. Because just like your bridges, you can have your tunnels go down uh, varying heights. There we go, so underground overlap, essentially. We want to kind of come out and be going at the same angle as the other road. So we'll go like this. Cool. Very, very cool. 
All right, so now we've got a, um, a new connection. I mean, this is absolutely awesome, right? And then we'll just do a six lane bridging point between these two, like this. I want to do that, but I think that might not really work in our favor. Just because of how close... Actually, I don't know. I think I take that back. Yeah, I think we're okay like that. Alright, so let's move into high density finally, guys. Sorry about taking so long with that. So a lot of our areas here, I'm not really going to convert 100% to high density, because it just really wouldn't look too good in terms of the size and just kind of difference and, and everything. So what I like to do to kind of start us off is some mixed, um, mixed height density. Or like mixed use zoning. You'll kind of see what I mean. So just like your regular buildings, the condos can be a maximum of 4x4. Four four. And so some of these roads are obviously a little bit wider than others, so let's start with the uh, the wider sections. And we can just throw, you know, just a few buildings here and there. Kind of mix up the size too if we wanted. We don't have to go 4x4. Four four. Say if you want like a little 3x2 or something. Now I think it's really kind of cool to do is if you use little areas like this. And actually I want to change this just so we can get a few more um, side streets in here. Actually, let's do a little... Let me try something here. Like I was saying, we are going to get a lot more traffic through here. So let's start planning for just a little bit more, a little bit more volume. Another street I just put in. I wish I can take it out now, though. Okay, I do want another street kind of coming through here, though, just so that we can get some um, use out of the zoning squares on the inside. So why don't we have something go through like this, and then go like that. There we go. Now we're cooking. And then, just for the sake of no traffic light, there we go. Perfect. So we'll gradually start introducing some high density over here. And you can kind of see the bottom, our RCI demand isn't really favoring um, uh, high density commercial, or sorry, high density residential, or residential at all. So I'm not really expecting these people to move in right away. Um, we're just basically getting this set up, and I do want to actually convert um, our industrial space over here into an office district, and that'll definitely like kickstart the um, the growth of, of uh, this area. So six lane road can definitely get some high density. And then the other thing with high density buildings. Or like condos. I mean, just like in real life, is there's no backyard to them, so you got to be conscientious about how close and you know, like park space and like that kind of stuff is. You don't want to feel like you're just kind of locked up in your uh, in your building without anywhere to kind of enjoy nature, or go out and read a book or anything like that. So very important to have you know parks and just everything kind of walking distance, and you, know, you don't want to feel trapped or anything. And then that feeling of being trapped, like the concrete jungle, I do try to avoid that a lot, which is kind of why we do the mixed use kind of zoning, so it's a little bit more staggered. And then, you know, maybe on the outskirts, just to kind of get the uh, you know, the old city visually prepared for it, I won't maybe have tall buildings on the outside few streets. Maybe I'll just have a few, but, you know, I'll have like maybe a couple blocks. So like we could do this one because it's a little bit more inner. This one we can convert to high density. It'll all kind of make, make sense when they come in and they're zoned and you kind of see what it looks like. But you just don't want it to be too stark of a contrast because I find that just looks a little bit bizarre. And this is a bike lane. We'll get rid of that, but we can have that connection still. And then this can be a, um, you know, something that goes over the, the highway and a bridge or something like that. We'll worry about that later. Just a few tall buildings there. Awesome. Okay, so let's do a quick little bit of road uh, lane over here, and then we'll convert that other space into um, offices and put down a whole bunch of factory space over here. And then I actually want to push the um, prospect heights 
district out so we can get a little bit more um, forestry zoning over here. That'd be, that'd look nice. And why don't we make this into a bike lane as well? Awesome. A little bit boxy over here. So if we want just to get a bit of variety in some of the buildings there, just something like that, right? And what I'm going to go for is kind of mixed space as well over here. So we have a few offices, which look kind of nice, kind of dotting, I think, an industrial park. And it makes sense. You want to have some like administrative buildings to kind of govern, you know, in air quotes, everything, right? So why don't we do this? Fantastic. Expand on our district. Great. And just push that ever so slightly back. Awesome. So that way we get some actual factories, but a little pollution band and everything, all the discoloration in the ground, we won't really notice that because we're going to be encasing it in um, forestry, which doesn't really pollute as much. So it should be kind of a cleaner imprint overall. And I was saying before, I, I do want to move these kind of buildings just like to a point that's kind of not too far away, but kind of far away so that, you know, we don't really have to see all these dead trees and pollution and, and everything. Because I, I don't really like that too much. Okay, so new area here for everyone to uh, start moving into. And you can already see our... RCI demand starting to shift and some residential is coming in, which is great. A little bit of shock in here too. All right. And then just for over here, I mean, you can see this is now done. M team will get rid of that. So I'm going to pause it. We might lose some power here really quickly. So let me just move these things over. Oh, and of course, we might need some pipes in here. And we'll just have to do a little bit um, more in terms of services, but I'm just kind of trying to keep an eye on time. So I, I really don't think we're going to finish with this area of this episode, but we'll continue talking about like high density and we'll kind of see how things kind of, you know, come in and how it turns out in the uh, the next episode in terms of like the zoning and stuff, right? Because we have a lot we still need to convert. So just kind of like, yeah, a little... A little way to get our feet wet with this. I'm going to keep the speed on just so we actually can see hopefully some buildings come in. I think we're okay now because the power plant's removed. We actually probably have more power than, than I thought anyway. Alright, so let's unzone our factory space. And then these factories will reappear hopefully in the uh, new part we're zoning. Okay, so this is what I mean about power. Just do that. Perfect. And then now let's zone this for office space. And then kind of going to what I was saying with like the no, you know, no backyards and stuff. I mean, like your offices, like all those tall towers and stuff. I mean, they still need somewhere to kind of, you know, go out and stretch your feet on a. Um, you know, a lunch break or something, right? So over in these districts, you would probably put like plazas, you know, same, maybe I do some parks, right? But something that looks a bit more businessy, like I would probably use this park. That fits really nicely here too. And as a little filler in between, I love using dirt road. I think it looked just so, so sharp against the, um, the road like that. We can put in some plazas. Oops. And same idea, you know, concrete, whatever you want. To make the area more walkable. Cool. Already starting to fill in. I like it. 
All right, well, I think we're going to end things off here, guys. Don't want to go too much longer. Let's do a little bit of a, um overview of what actually happened here. We do have a few tall buildings, all right. So yeah, the goal of um, going to high density is just to not make the contrast too alarming. So this looks kind of nice, right? Just a few taller buildings starting to dot the um, the skyline. I mean, when we pick a downtown and have like a little bit more, you know, like of the taller buildings unlocked and start kind of making a collection of those, then it makes sense to have a lot of um, high density buildings mixed in with that. But for the moment, just not to overwhelm the city. And then just, you know, in terms of like a contrast, like I won't necessarily have like my high density buildings go the whole way to say towards the highway. We'll kind of scale upwards. And that looks kind of nice, that tiered. And then for an added bonus, if you can kind of do it on a hill where you kind of start at the bottom with houses and then progressively go up with taller buildings, that just looks fantastic for screenshots. And just looking at little hills and stuff here and there too. So the new collector system looking pretty darn good, I think. Lots of off-ramp options, which is pretty neat. Hopefully you guys get some inspiration from that. Fun little Lakeshore Boulevard right here. This incredibly complex and awesome little parkway system. I don't even know what to call this just yet, but that's really cool, right? No one's really going to be using this until we do uh, some more zoning down here, but we'll definitely fill this in. This could probably be, like, most likely the start of our downtown. And then something that we could even do is hypothetically have, like, a train or something run down here, and we can change... That little bit so you guys can definitely you know drop some suggestions and stuff too right with how to kind of progress our city anyway guys i will see you in the next one i'll be uploading this to the workshop and uh, yeah hope your own cities are doing really well so i'm glad you guys are having fun with this all right i'll see you again take care of yourselves guys all the best mm -hmm.